also reminds me of something again that's really important i think for for most people to understand and i think i think particularly in the field of sport they're getting better at this and it's what we call end stage rehab so you know if someone's playing sport as an example when they get an injury what used to happen is they'd go to the physio the physio would get them out of pain and they'd say right you can go back to the strength and conditioning coach now and then the strength and conditioning coach is you know getting them doing weightlifting and powerful training and all that kind of stuff but actually there's a whole bridge a between those there. yeah <laughs> right and you've got to you've got to go through all the stages of you know base conditioning and then building strength functional strength maximal strength and then power <clears throat> you know it's not until you're ready to compete at your sport without breaking down again that the rehab is actually completed a lot of people think it's when they're out of pain it's not when they're out of pain. It's when they're strong enough or st stable enough or flexible enough to go back to that event and not reoccur the same injury. Absolutely. And, and take into account then like the difference even within one profession. I've got a physio in an MSK department in the NHS who's dealing with, you use a football player with an Achilles tendonitis uh, or a calf strain. Um, they're limited to set number of sessions, you know, maybe six-ish sessions, and they're going to give them exercise prescription. They'll get them to that certain point, and there might be a big gap between that and what they do on the football pitch in that time mm. frame and that allowance. The same profession, take a physio who looks after Arsenal football team and has an, an hour each day with each, or two different separate hours, maybe three with each individual player that's injured, and the level of rehab and the the where they reach them to is going to be completely different. Yeah. It's yeah. specialist knowledge and it's time with patients. Yeah. And, and yeah. that time with patients is a huge factor. 